In this video, we're going to load some Android malware in Gitra and see how it performs. Here's the malware APK. It's some Chinese banking Trojan that intercepts the SMS and then redirects it. And when you import it, you can choose between single file, which isn't very helpful because then this APK will be imported as a binary blob, then batch, then the .dex file will be extracted into Java class files, and then the class files are imported individually. As you can see here, this searches for the class files, and then I can now import 349 files. So this is basically what you would get if you would run dex to jar and then unzip the jar. Then you get all these class files here. Then another way that you can import it is by saying file system. And then you can only import the dot dex. And I can import it as a single file. Then you can analyze it like any other binary. Now, first let's take a look at the .dex file. So now as the string analysis has finished, I will search for string. I remember that this malware sent out an email via the SMTP of 163.com mail server and we can see it here now let's see where the string is referenced from and then we can see it's referenced in multiple places and let's just decompile this first occurrence okay so the decompiler also works for dex files but it looks a bit ugly in my opinion, because now we only got this one function, not much more context. So now we have looked at the class com phone stop cd. Let's also look at the class file and see how that gets imported. Yes. Okay, so we have the class file want function d so now we have the same function but this time decompiled from a class file this is looking very good the fact that it is only using dex to char it's not better than using dex to char the the dex decompiler is a nice touch for sure however i still prefer shady gui to look at android malware basically it takes a jar and then you can convert it into Java source code which you can see here and unlike the decompiled version in Gitra it will also do some things like try catch blocks and also give you more context by making it look more like like Java source code I mean the, the class files that you're currently in they're also listed here at the top, but the whole thing looks like a normal function. And you would have, for example, if you want to go to function C of this class, you would have to navigate through here, which isn't very, very good. Here with, with JDGU, you can actually export all this Java source code and then, for example, import it into Eclipse so you can search for references and stuff like that. So I much more prefer the old way that I've been doing things over the Gitra way, at least when it comes to Android malware. 